rather passively at that. We sit there at the end of a telescope and wait for light to reach us. It's not a Petri dish where we stir it or heat it or freeze it or crack it, or we're just kind of there communing with the cosmos. My PhD thesis was significantly fed by data that I obtained from mountaintops at telescopes. I got my data from mountains in Chile, uh, uh, Cerro Tololo, and it employed all the natives, the natives, the local that local VLT? people. Uh, that's another telescope. That so there's all these telescopes that all have specific um, um, access points to the universe. They're not all asking the same questions. Right. And so it's the collection of all the data that gives us the complete understanding, what we think is a complete understanding of the universe. So what we do is try to understand our place in the universe. And all I'm going to say is that if you have power over what happens on that mountain and it's sacred to you because whatever that is, it is something important to you and your sense of your understanding of your place in this world. That would be spiritual significance. I can tell you that what we learn as astrophysicists from those mountaintops gives us a deeper understanding of who and what we are in this universe. So I would say that whatever is your concept of God, be it the, the creator of the universe, the spirit energy that pervades all of space and time, whatever is your concept, the discoveries of astrophysicists bring you closer to it.